Life begins with a single cell. For you, for me, for all of us. We know that the fertilized cell divides repeatedly to form a zygote. This will later take the form of an embryo. But wait, who decides whether the embryo should develop into a male or a female individual? Is it the mom or the dad? Or is it the nutrients that are made available during growth? In this video, let us study how the sex of the growing embryo is determined. Well, humans require a male parent and a female parent to give rise to a new individual. As we have already studied, the human germ cells do not have a pair of sex chromosomes. Each child receives one copy from the mother and one from the father. They together make up a pair and thus the natural pair of the chromosomes in a cell is established. All females have a perfect pair of the sex chromosomes in their cells. It is called as the XX chromosome pair. Each chromosome is named with the letter X. Both these together make up the 23rd pair of chromosomes. What about the male parent? The male sex chromosome is also made up of two chromosomes. This one is a normal X chromosome while the other is made up of two short strands. The former is represented by the letter X while the latter is represented by the letter Y. Look at the two different sex chromosomes now. The 23rd pair chromosomes of the female parent is represented as XX while the 23rd pair chromosomes of the male parent is represented as XY. As we know the X cell and the sperm cell are the sex cells. They do not have 23 pairs or 46 chromosomes. Instead, they have half the number of chromosomes. One from each pair of autosomes and sex chromosomes. Look at the female X cell. It really doesn't matter which X chromosome of the sex chromosome pair is present here. Why is it so? That is because both are X chromosomes. But do you think the same applies to the male sex cell or the sperm? No, right? It can either have an X chromosome in the 23rd chromosome place or a Y chromosome. Now it depends on which sperm genotype will fertilize the X cell. If the cell containing the Y chromosome fertilizes the X cell, the resulting offspring will be a male. An XY combination, you see. But if the sperm containing an X chromosome fertilizes the egg, it will result in a female child. Who do you think then decides the sex of the child? The father, of course. If the father's X chromosome fertilizes the X cell, then a female offspring. And if the father's Y chromosome fertilizes the X cell, then a male offspring. Hence, the sex of the child is actually decided at the time of fertilization itself. It is just that the zygote and the growing embryos appear exactly the same in the cases of males and females. And why is this so? It is because the embryo is only a mass of cells. It does not have organs developed yet. This was about the sex determination in humans. Now we need to know the important concept of reproductive health in humans. For that, do watch our next video.